What is up guys, TFG the Forest Guy. I hope everybody is having a great Wednesday for your Wednesday. Guys, I'm gonna take you guys along on my route today. I'm doing the North Raleigh route and I got about 14 bills on here. So a little bit of a heavy day, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you guys my day. Seven, so they're that place right there. All right. Might be a little tight back here, but that's the reason why I'm in the 28 footer today and not a 53 or a 48. So <clears throat> uh, let's see. I guess 107 doesn't have a dock, so I guess we'll just turn it around and... <clears throat> yeah. And we'll, so we can, we're face, basically we're gonna be facing that way. about to see how much we have today. Look at all this freight in here, y'all. Full trailer today. Well, I don't understand why they would load this sideways. this by myself. Yeah, it's going to be way too heavy to move that by myself. So, let's see. I'll take this we're going to have to take this out first and then we're going to have to grab this one because this one's sideways and I can't I can't get under that that way.
now we got it. Right, guys I had to take this trailer back so there was fast forward a little bit later um, I had to take this trailer back because that last lift gate that I had wasn't able to bump that dock so I had to get a whole different trailer and put all the fray on a whole different trailer so it's been kind of a day so not really sure how this video is gonna end up being but I'm still gonna try to show you guys what it's like doing P and D in the city. So this is our. Let's see. This is like a third or fourth stop. E and V U. Whatever that company is, I don't know what they do, but we got one pallet that goes here. So we're gonna come back here. They got a little dock, I guess, back here that we can back up to. Look at how tight this dock is, y'all. Dock is tight as hell. It's a good thing I'm in this short trailer. I could have done a better job. Oh well. Whatever. Oh, I could have just handed this to you at the front. Yeah, I didn't know that's what it was, or I would have. Sorry. No, you're good, man. Don't mind me. I'm kind of shooting a video today at the same time, so. Right. <laughs> no ah, there you I'll go, take man. The pallet too. Y'all want the pallet? All right, that works for me, man. I'd be taking a whole bunch of pallets from there. Thank there you, you are. Um, let me get you to sign. All right, so we're going to Home Depot on Strickland Road. We're not going there yet. So there's Airtron, Airtron, Pam McLaughlin, Home Depot, Home Depot, Home Depot. Home, so there's like four bills for Home Depot that we're going to go over there. We're going to go ahead and take that freight. Go ahead and drop that off. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best, guys, to show you guys um, some of this P and D stuff. A lot of people don't want to be on camera, so we gotta try 
try my best to be courteous to people and try not to put them on camera. Um, mostly just trying to show you guys kind of the tight places we have to go to and and all that. Like this place here, there's no way in hell you would have gotten a 53 in here or a 48. Just like that, guys, we are out of here. All right, now we're going to um, Home Depot and Strickland Road, get that stuff off. Like I said before, that lift gate on that last trailer was all screwed up. Couldn't back into any docks with it, so I had to go back and swap all the freight out and onto a different trailer. But it is what it is. That's just what it is some days in the city. You're gonna have good days in the city and you're gonna have bad days in the city. Today just so happened to be one of those weird days. like Swift is in the door right now. Uh, let's see. Actually, no, there. Oh, they're over there. Okay. Never mind. People are really going to park their car right there, too. in the way every single time you try to back up somewhere that's okay and then there's this idiot right here in his dumb Lexus yeah just 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 park right there where semis have to back up at stupid typical four-wheelers can't freaking do shit right man I gotta navigate around this dumb ass car Let's see here, 
uh, one, two, three, four. All right. So I've got some Home Depot. Home Depot. This is. I think this is. Home Depot. Ninety-five, seventeen. Up Home Depot. One, two, three. Hey, screw this stuff up. Home Depot. I think all this right here is y'all's. I know these two are Home Depot. That's home, that's for somebody who ordered something online. This, this is Home Depot store. This, this Home Depot store too. So I'm taking all this? Yes. And that these one's there. These ones too. Uh, let's see. Eight, two, five, one. We all want this at right here for now? Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Alright guys. That took a little bit longer than expected. I had to wait because there was some damaged tile that they had to mark off. And I had to mark on the bill, so that took a little bit of time. But we're going to Cava Northridge, which is that restaurant over there on Falls and Newt's Road. See how the heck we're gonna get in there because that place looks tight. Oh well. That's what it is being in the city, guys. Very different type of trucking y'all are seeing today. Very different type of trucking. Alright, we've made it to Cava. There's ch chopped. I don't know what that is. Oh, here's Cabo right here. That's fine.
Chicago? Mm-hmm. Cobbin North Ridge, 6004 yeah, Falls and Noose. It's probably just gonna have to sit out here, yeah, man. Yeah, probably just have to sit out there. All right, y'all. We are on our way to Airtron. That is our next delivery. Once we get the heck out of here. short trailer even for this 32 footer we're not gonna get in that way now I was in the box truck the other day when I came here and I was fine but even that was <laughs> all right uh, let's see. we're gonna have to get out and right there I'm gonna go ask if I can just bump that dock cause that's gonna be the only way they're gonna get their freight I look at it like this y'all they don't let me bump that dock then well I mean it's gonna have to come back to another day y'all so this is what we're gonna do we're not gonna hit that dock over there like I was going to we're just gonna we're gonna pull up right here and we're just gonna back it all the way down and hit that dock that's right over there so that's gonna be what we're gonna do Side a little bit into this door here. Luckily, this trailer is turn radius is a lot better than a 53 because if we we're going to a 53, this would be a little bit of a challenge.
There we go. Now we got it back wrapped around. And into the door we go. We'll try to straighten it out just a little bit. Last thing you want to do is go down that hill right there. Boy, that would be disastrous. Now would it be? Do I have two dogs here the last time I came here? Oh, yeah. Damn, I can't remember y'all having two dogs or something. But I guess someone was in that one. Delivery is going to Pam McLaughlin Spruce something way. I have no idea where that is. Oh well, we're about to find out. Let's bet you that's a residential. That has to be a residential delivery. All right. All right. So that lady didn't answer the phone, and I can't just leave the freight there without anybody getting it so we're gonna go to ace hardware over here off the falls and noose and get this pickup and hopefully she calls back and we can go back over there and deliver it if not it's gonna go back so that's pretty much how it goes
Is it a... Uh... He's bringing it out. Oh, out there? Yeah, he's getting it. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't sure if he was gonna bring it through here or... No, he's gonna... All right, I'll just go down there and meet him yeah. then. Oh, y'all got a lift. Shoot, never mind. I opened the lift gate for nothing then. You can just, you can just sit it on there. All right, never mind. They didn't know y'all had a forklift. I was like, shoot, I just... <laughs> right? If you want, you can just sit it on here and then I'll wheel it the rest of the way in. Alrighty guys, I am back home. Just finished my day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A little bit all over the place. Um, I'm not really sure how this video is going to end up coming out because I started my day and then I had to go back and take all the freight off and put it on a whole other truck and go out again. So we'll see how this video ends up turning out. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Also, I'd like to update you guys on Hurricane Helene, the devastating storm that hit Western North Carolina. The death toll is up to 130, guys. It is just, it's just absolutely heartbreaking. You know, Western North Carolina is near and dear to my heart. And you know, it's just, it is very devastating to see the death toll and where it is at. People still have not been found. I've also found out that I-40 at the Tennessee North Carolina line is basically done until 2025 don't know when that's going to open back up and then also a section of I-26 is also closed until 2025 guys keep Western North Carolina in your hearts and in your prayers this week and going forward I don't know when things are going to be back to normal it'll be years before Western North Carolina is going to be functional again I did see a good thing today that the park service at chimney rock was able to get up to the top and put an american flag at the top of chimney rock which was truly awesome to see that guys we are carolina strong out here even out here on the eastern side of the state we love all of our brothers out in western north carolina and we are fully staying with you and support you in this difficult time but guys that is it for today's video like comment subscribe share this video and y'all know who it is tfg the forest guy and i'll check back with you guys later